Hello, welcome back. Retropolis is general time. Time to be generally pretty good. We're still gonna be on the forest because I still haven't seen the other wave six, wave 13, 16, 20 boss. One of these days though, we're gonna see it. Or maybe it doesn't exist. I don't know. For the general here though, uh, do not play this. I could have played it. I could have gotten away with playing it. All right, slightly inefficient to not play the house there. I've doomed the run by not playing house. It's over. No, we're fine, of course. Last episode, good. Uh, I'm almost, you know, I, I, I was worried that I was just gonna do steel infinites on every single run, but as it turns out, the thing I'm doing on every single run is banner rat. But also, you know, if it ain't broke, uh, break it. That's how the saying goes, I think. I don't know, I have to I have to ask myself, and I have to ask you, actually. Tell me what you think in the comments below. What do you want to see? Do you want to see me going for as big of a win streak as I can and winning at all costs, or do you want to see me keeping it fresh? Because I kind of feel like if it were me, I would, I would prefer to see someone keeping it fresh. I think that's a little more entertaining when I do the fun stuff. And, you know, there's room for both. I'm implying that there's no room for both, and there is room for both. However, if I'm going to do the fun stuff, if I'm, if I'm going to go for, like, a dedicated win streak, the worlds where I skip steel are few, and there are not many of them. And also, they don't exist. Like, if you offer me a steel in this shop, I'm going to take it every time if we're going to go for a big win streak. Oh, right, not get offered a steal in that shop, so that, that line of reasoning is no longer necessary. But basically, it's like, how many... I'm, I'm still trying out new stuff, although we're coming close to the point where I've done all the new stuff. I'm also not too worried about win streaking, because if I'm going to win streak, I want to win streak on the higher difficulty. Just to be like, yes, I really am doing it. I really am the greatest of all time. We'll see, right? We'll see. I'll see. Uh, basically, if I feel like I can still get away with doing some fun stuff on hard mode, we'll maybe try wind streaking it. I mean, I'm always trying. Wind streaking. It's it's weird because the way I'm talking, you might think like, "Oh, what are you trying to lose? Aren't you always trying to wind streak?" And yeah, kinda. But if I'm really trying to wind streak, I'm not gonna go and do something silly like. Uh, oh, I don't know. Like, there have been plenty of runs where I've passed up on steel, because I'm like, oh, I want to keep these runs interesting. You don't want to see me do a steel infinite every run. That gets boring. I think it gets boring anyway. I try to... I save the steel runs for... I, I use it for good only, right? I try to use it for, like, hey, let's see if you can do something cool with soul here. Or let's try and do something fun with, uh... I don't even know what else. Ah, it's Fat Boys. This is, this is fine. The only one I'm not happy to see is Spitters. Bad boys arguably are uh, easier, but not really. I wouldn't argue that. They're easier just because they're... Uh, there's no, there's no, like, there's not really a room where you're gonna get... But you can't get caught, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Five population? Hell yeah, five population sounds good here. Uh, I will just take leader level ups. We are the military boy. If I get the option to, I may as well. That's my opinion here. Way to level up. The upgrade there is interesting. I don't think... Well, it's 50-50, right? If it hits guards, maybe you go for it there, actually. I don't see that event enough to think about it. Hang on. I think I should have gone for the upgrade in... You know, one... It's... it's That one's the coin flip, right? That's like taking advisor versus the sure thing. The, the flip is, if I hit guards, it's really helpful. That's plus one attack for my guards for the rest of the game. Which, as we have uh, illustrated... Not illustrated, but like... As you can imagine, that's a big increase. Just plus two is huge. So, plus one is also, relatively speaking, pretty strong. But, if I hit militia, it's not bad, but it's not good. I'm gonna take leader level as this guy. And I'm gonna take leader level. Yeah, we're level 5 with our leader ability at uh, wave 4. But we're chilling, right? If I get a rally, we win this run hands down. No questions asked. 
And really, I think that this character is the only time that I'm gonna take Rally, unless I have Arm. Oh, hey, we won. All right, so like, there's no doubt in my mind that we won. Oh, I do wanna make, you know what? I wanna mix in Bandit here. I wanna try it, I wanna try it. I've said that I would never in my life take Bandit again, but the circumstances have once again arisen. The moons have aligned, the planets are, this only happens once every one trillion decades. The planetary alignment hits just right. And here we are. Make sure I order my cards correctly. I have picked Bandit. I was trying to think of other uh, astrology sign shit that I, like astrology sign jargon I could throw in there, but it's hard. I don't look at uh, like star charts and things like that because you know, it's, you know, astrology is one of those things that people like to hate online. I feel like there's, there's a very good amount of people who are just like, oh, you like astrology? What are you, an idiot? Astrology isn't real, you dumbass. And like, if you hold that opinion, I just wanna, I wanna, real quick, I wanna have a heart to heart with you. Why? Why? Like, just let people have fun. Okay, I'm gonna, hang on, I gotta adjust the microphone a little bit. I'm leaning back in the chair now on like the last episode. So, you know, leaning back, this is, this is, if I'm, if, when I start to feel a little tired, this is what I do. Lean back. But really though, if you're out here and you're like, ugh, astrology isn't real, you fool. Why would you even put any stock into that? It's like, you know, just let people have fun. I don't think, I think that a very small amount of people look at their star signs and go oh my god i'm gonna spend all of my money on this this is like they're not harming anyone people are just you know, like i'm gonna have fun who cares let people have fun however i don't uh, i don't go out of my way to find them right if i if i see a post that's like oh what's your what your star sign says about you and uh, i'll look at my star sign sure i'm a leo i'll be like oh yeah I can, I can, see, I can dig it. Sure. I wouldn't mind rest on this run. People online just hate it when other people have fun, I feel like. It's kind of like, just, uh, you know, just ugh. Have fun. Don't let people take fun away from you. Also, I hate fun. Never have fun in my presence. I'm mostly kidding. If you never have fun, then you don't have to be disappointed. That's my words of wisdom for you today. Except, you know, it's terrible words. I'm, I should remove Militia. Should I remove Militia? Eh, nah. I don't know. I, I was. I also I was trying to think of like, oh, what what's a what's a recent star sign that I can think of? But they're very forgettable because they're not recent star sign. But like, what's what's a horoscope reading I can think of off the top? But they're so forgettable because they're all very they're very generalized statements, right? If you don't know the trick, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you in. If you love your horoscope being read and you don't want it, you don't want the magic ruined for you. Don't listen. But all it really is, is just like sweeping generalized statements about someone. It's, it's like a cold reading in psychic medium jargon. Where it's just uh, a generalized statement that you can, if you want to believe, turn to apply to yourself. I wanna, what do I want to pick up here? I, wanna, oh, I was going to pick up shock if I can afford it. I could have, no I couldn't have, never mind. I could have maybe gotten there somehow, but eh, whatever. Uh, I need to take houses. I can I can very easily find myself falling into the trap where I won't take anything but... Like, I'll, I'll just keep taking card removal, and on this run that's a mistake for sure. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that's a mistake to not take the house there. I can't stake my life on card removal right now. My income plan is actually Bandit. We'll see how it goes. It's, you know, it's similar to Bounty. You know my, you know my spiel. I don't like taking Bounty. I don't like taking Bandit because your income being tied to 
what time the wave comes is not, not great. Also, Bandit, I think he just needs his model shrunk a little bit. Or something. Like, the, the problem with Bandit really is they just get targeted. Did I lose a guard on the right? No, that's right. I don't lose many people because of the rallies. I'll take plus two attack here. Leader level up? No, no, no. Don't get baited. Take the house. My The thing there is, like, leader leveling up is gonna become rarer as time goes on, I think. I'm pretty sure you can only get five from treasure chests. That's my, that's my estimate from the run where we took, like, a million treasure chests when I had the salvage. It seems like you can only get five from treasure chests to me. Now, I could have been unreasonably unlucky. This is also a possibility. But I would like to say the more likely outcome is that you just uh, can only get five leader level ups from treasure. The bandits, they don't really get to do anything because of my guards. Huh. Yeah, they're just kind of sitting here. You know, I better, I better rescue them. If you lose the seven population, you don't get to cheat it with the military cards, you know? It don't work that way. I'm gonna take territory expansion here. I'm gonna take rally upgrade. Plus one, plus two on the rally is nice. How am I doing today? Hopefully... Hopefully your day has been good. This is the evening episode of the 23rd. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully everything's going going great. Superman does well, good, you do uh, excellent, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to take a second mining for sure. I should take invite. Invite's really strong. I'm a big fan of Invite. I don't think I've had a run where I took Invite and it was bad anyway. It's it's just infinity population, but I really, really need to take the wall. Or do I? I don't need to take the wall. Maybe it's fine. I might I think I can get away with not losing my gold on this one. Okay, keep your eyes peeled. Ooh. All right, big yawn. Keep your eyes peeled for if there is a noticeable change in the enemy composition. If there's no shaman on the next wave, for example, we will have a noticeable difference in the run. Oh, you know, I can do this to get between the, the sides. I hope you like the sound of my clicking, because uh, this is what I'm doing from now on. <laughs> Look, when I'm when I'm playing this game just to like just to chill like this, I ain't, I'm not trying hard. We're chilling. Chilling for me, like I don't have to reach. It really, I would. It's not uncomfortable for me to have my hand on the keyboard. It's just my microphone is in the way. If I ever get a standalone mic stand, like I want to, this will not be a problem any longer. Okay, the shaman. So either this is gonna be Mr. Charge or uh, it doesn't matter. One of the two. I kind of lean towards it doesn't matter, honestly. I think I will take another barn for sure. I think that the difference is in the. It's just the boss. I don't think it makes a difference on the actual. Oh my god, what am I doing? I don't think it makes a difference on the actual enemies that you see. I think it's just the bosses, but I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. And we're just like on, what, four forests in a row without seeing the new boss on this wave? Something like that. Not that I'm one to complain. Oh, well, here he is. That is a new enemy. And by new enemy, I mean it's just the shaman. Right. You'll notice I didn't get a... Oh, does he just sit there and spam buffs? Nah, okay. So this guy got way worse. Since they changed the way the wave stacks. That guy is terrible. Wait, or he's not? The rest of the wave gets it? I'm so confused. 
Okay, so he throws out the buff and then the rest of the wave gets it. Those guys just didn't have the icon. Alright. I'm with it now. I gotcha. This is great news because now we can move to the... Uh, the coast. But also... I'm really interested to see what the wave 20 shaman is going to look like. Territory expansion... I'm just going to take invite. It's like taking territory expansion, kind of, if you don't think about it. I like taking the building advisor here, actually. Landlord being a building advisor and not a economic advisor is interesting. Not necessarily wrong, but interesting. You know, I've said in the past, this is this is basically right now I'm in just any any thought that comes to the brain, bring it to the forefront. This is our conversational topic. But I've been in a sort of not mood, but I've said recently that I feel like my commentary, my off topic commentary comes and flows the best on YouTube. But tonight, not so much. I really it's weird, right? I have so many, I have, a, I have a brain, and this brain has so many thoughts, and then I sit down and I go to record, and I go, hmm, what do I want to talk about? Nothing. You know what I want to talk about? It's, it's not that I don't have any thoughts, it's that I don't have anything that I think is worth saying, you know? What am I, what, what's really on my mind right now? You want the, you want the, the real what's up of my brain right now? I'm a little hungry, but I don't get to eat for the rest of the night because I'm doing intermittent fasting. I can talk about that a little bit, I guess. I don't think I've ever talked about that in the YouTube. I think it, if you don't do intermittent fasting, I would highly recommend it. Uh, I dropped below 150 pounds for the first time since like before I entered high school on intermittent fasting plus, a, plus uh, like watching what I eat and also going to the gym, which I was like, hell yeah, and also like, you know, Eh, whatever. Right? I don't- I'm not too worried about that stuff. I'm worried- like, I'm worried about my health enough, I feel like. I feel like I'm worried the right amount, so that, like, when this- when this whole uh, virus blows over, I'm gonna go back to going to the gym and being active. I'm planning on changing my diet so that I'm eating a little healthier. You know, nothing too crazy on the diet side, because, like, eh. But like, just, just kind of like t cutting out all of the frozen stuff that I eat, because most of my diet is pre-made meals. Because I'm very lazy, and instead of actually cooking, which I do enjoy cooking, but instead of actually cooking, I prefer to like, yeah, I wake up and I'm not, I'm not really feeling like, ah, well, I better boil some water and make a sauce and let's have some pasta. I'm more like, uh, I just want to eat and then go respond to the morning YouTube comments and, uh, you know, whatever else I do in the mornings. Typically watch YouTube. Find something I want to watch. I really, I watch a lot more YouTube than I watch Twitch. Which, I think is fair. Twitch... I don't know, with, I, with YouTube I feel like there's no real expectation for a comment. Whereas with Twitch it's like, if I'm watching for long enough I feel like I have to say something eventually. But, you know, we've talked about ad, ad nauseum about my uh, just disdain, not disdain, but like fear of networking. Fear, you know, you know, my, wow, what the hell, look at this, look at this shop. Oh my god, two apartments and a house. You know, I'm gonna pick up first aid here. I think it's not necessarily great, but I think it's okay. I can't rally everyone, you know? You know. I say you know a lot lately. I think that... My vocabulary and how I speak is largely thanks to... Like, I kind of, you kind of pick up the speech patterns of the people that you watch, I feel like. At least I did, in high school in particular. In high school, my uh, speech pattern was literally just if you fused Jesse Cox, Total Biscuit, and Northern Lion into one person. There's a there's a good video, or maybe like sprinkle in a little bit of uh, I'm a Cutie Pie, the League streamer. There's a great video of him playing with uh, a fan, and 
they he, they get in voice and the dude just sounds like a cross between the two streamers that he watches like voy boy and uh i think it was i will dominate was the other one but i don't remember if you haven't seen this video uh this is this makes no sense but if you don't play League or, like, watch League on Twitch, this makes no sense. But, like, statistically, if you watch something on Twitch, you probably watch League. It is the most watched game on that platform by a pretty large margin. There's, there's a lot of people who, uh... Who watch Twitch, and, or to, who watch League, and there's also a lot of people who stream League. Like, and what, what do I mean by that? Like, obviously, it's the most watched, most streamed game on the platform. But, like, I scrolled through Twitch one day. Or scroll through the league because I was going through a little period where I was like, I'm gonna take a moment and watch like a, f a few things from every category. And on Twitch, or on my God, <laughs> I'm I'm very sorry, but on in the league category, there's like you have to scroll through like 40 channels before you get to someone who's below four digits. I'm below four digits. I think 40 channels for four digits is wrong. I think that's wrong. I think that's a wrong figure. But I think that might be four, 40 channels for three digits. I just remember the number 40. That's all. I'm gonna remove Bandit. My economy is now hinged on mining. The Bandit, it was an, it's an interesting idea, but I think that this run is a great look at why it doesn't really work. And it's just like, your Bandits die off way too easily and there's not much you can do about it. Even when I'm rallying and buffing him, I just don't feel it. I should be putting down more guards. Like, the symmetry thing is going to kill me one of these days. On a run, I'm just gonna lose for this. Yeah, bandits, they, they die off too easily. I think I... Here, I'm gonna sit up. I might even use the space bar. Yeah, we're gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little tryharding here, because, you know, we aren't, we aren't guaranteed to win this. Like extension. Extension's good. I'm not guaranteed, so I may as well do my part to increase our chance. I'll remove here, though. I don't think I remove anything, right? I think that this is... Well, I could remove this mining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I remove mining, we go down to six cards. Hmm. I think not yet. But eventually I do want to remove mining and invite. But not yet. I'm gonna throw the extension out on the apartment. This five population is one tax. It's worth. Raise tax. Oh. Oh, wait, we won. <laughs> I keep saying, like, am I, am, am I, am I too reliant? No, I don't think so. <laughs> like, this run would have won without him, for sure. I have Rally as the, I, I have the other one, right? But this is, this is where it's starting to be like, I'm kind of even just concerned, like... This is a run, like... Ah, oh, new enemy. What does he do? Let's see it. Hang on. Weasel Prophet. Infuriates his companions, making them vicious. He also has an AoE attack of 5, 800 health. Okay. Oh, he just gives them an attack bu buff. 9 damage. I don't know what that guy does normally, so... I don't really know how strong he is. 900 health is a pretty big number. <laughs> That doesn't seem too bad. But again, like, it's, it's hard for me to judge these fights based on these runs. I'm gonna... You, you don't really make a good impression of how difficult a fight is off of a run where you're at 100 population at wave 20. But again, I've been having 100 population at this point a lot of the time. Like, it's been very common that this has been the case, I'm noticing. Oh, you know. Sorry, another big yawn. I just I can't can't quite hold it together. I also like I my sleep schedule got a little messed up because I took two nights off of streaming, and as a result, I just kind of was like, well, it's like four in the morning. I finished my recordings because I started, a, like, I, I made sure that I was going to get something done productive on those nights off, so I did a little recording. And I was like, what time should I start my recording? Uh, probably like one in the morning. Give myself a good four hours, and then I finished up in three hours, which is about right for four Retropolis episodes. And, and then I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to go to bed, because when I finish Retropolis, what else is there to do? 
I'm done with Ratropolis. May as well as go to sleep. And now, two nights of that, and two nights of waking up a little early, and then all of a sudden, ah, well. 4.30 in the morning rolls around, I can't hold it together anymore. I'm sleepy. I am, I'm glad that we're done with, uh, with this map. The, like, the forest is fine, don't get me wrong, but... You know, I, I'm ready to, I, I like the variety. That's all. I'm, I am looking forward to getting my feet wet with uh, hard mode as well. That's that's what I am looking forward to now. I'm excited to see how it is. Really, I am. I'm I'm interested. Like I'm interested to see what it is too. I have no idea. I've never seen anyone do hard mode. I've never like I've never made I've made it a point to like. For for games that I'm gonna stream or uh, YouTube, I make a point of trying to make sure that I stay relatively spoiler free, so that you guys get like blind first reaction. I think it's more fun that way. Well, you know, I I don't know. I've never been the. I haven't. I haven't been the. I'm gonna, like, look up the best thing to do on uh, YouTube, I'm gonna read through the wiki, right? Some games I am that way, and some games I'm not. However, with, like, being here on the broadcast stage, I have definitely been in more of a I'm gonna figure it out myself sort of feeling. But... Yeah, I mean, basically that's it. That's the end of the thought. Also, we have a thick duck. Uh, he's very large. And, like, this duck, ever since the changes, he's huge. Like, D-Rex is so strong. Is he, I think he has, like, a thousand health or something like that. Huh. I wonder if... So, realistically, I think that if you're doing nightmare mode, right, every every time that I do, every time I do something in this game, I also wonder to myself, like, what, how does this go for nightmare mode? Is this good for nightmare mode? And the reason for that is, of course, because, you know, nightmare mode is like, it, in my mind, nightmare mode has always been the, the end game. I think the best unit you want to do to 10k, 10k on nightmare mode is probably militia, since they gain... Or they have the highest attack speed, I should say. They don't gain anything. But I'm not gonna take any more walls. I'm not gonna lose my gold. I don't want it. The they're also the cheapest, right? I did the last one. The, the I've done. I have two nightmare mode clears total, and. The first one I did Shield Rat and Longbow, but I mostly just had no idea what I was doing. I'll be honest with you. That was when- oh, hey. Wait, have I seen this? I've seen this. Yeah, this is the turtle. I've seen this. Okay. Right, okay. okay. I've definitely seen this. This is the turtle. I know what's going on here. You know, my first one I was just like, yeah, I got shield rats and longbows in the deck. Let's let's give these guys a 10k, 10k. Let's figure that out. But then in the in the second one, the video that I made, yeah, we're gonna not expand anymore anyway. Don't take expansion territory right after that though. In the in the video I made for nightmare mode, like made simple. In that video, I actually took longsword as my unit to 10k and i would not recommend longsword as your unit because you got to be up to like 400 or 500 gold per longsword with the modifiers which was unsustainable very fast we got eight bandits someone you know someone said bandit would be really strong for it i think it's not wrong as a as like maybe a supplemental economic plan but i'm not a fan Mostly because, like, I, you know, I guess you just, you just fish for whichever card you want, right? You can. That's kind of the point, is you're able to able to fish out whatever you want in Nightmare Mode. You kind of have to be able to, in my opinion. 
I like thinking about nightmare mode. Keep drawing invite with rally, and I refuse to rally if it's not for maximum efficiency. I am, I am sitting forward and giving up a little. I'm a little closer to the mic now too, but hopefully I keep my voice at a relatively low uh, level anyway. So I, I'm not, I'm not a hype streamer, or you know, I'm not a hype person. I never have been. You know, I just kind of, I'm, I say more roll with the punches than anything else. Just kind of like a, oh yeah. All right. If that's how it is, that's how it is. Not so much. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe it. Like I said, I've I, I've joked about this a lot. I don't know if I've done it here, you know, because streaming and, and also recording it all runs together in my mind. Really, what runs together in my mind is rule sets. I get very confused about things like uh, in Slay the Spire today. Actually, I had a moment where I was like, so if I if I have no card in my hand and I play a card that has to exhaust a card to be played, am I allowed to play it? Because in this game, you're not allowed to play it. They don't let you. What was I saying? The thought is like I can I can feel it in the back of my mind. I can just like I can just barely think about what started me on this line of dialogue, but it's just it's just an inkling back there. I don't remember how I got here. And the longer that I talk, the more I'm like, uh, eyes glaze over. You know the drill. What am I even saying at this point? Where am I? Oof, man. No, we got the... Oh, I'm not a hype person. You know, I'm very, I'm just, uh, this is this is what I'm like, pretty much always, you know, maybe a little more over the top in person, a little more over the top. That's not how I want to phrase it. That, that doesn't seem right. Very, you know, just kind of like, eh, what do you want to do today? Eh, you know, whatever. I don't really have a preference. Or you want to go to eat? Eh. I mean, that's, that's a question that I actually have more opinions on than just, eh, to be fair. Like, where do I want to go to eat? Ah, eh, you know, I'm kind of feeling pizza or Chinese. That's typically the answer. Probably the two best places to go around me, pizza or Chinese. By the way, if I lose this run, uh, I 100% accept your anger at the fact that I'm not being efficient, right? If I'm gonna lose, oh my god, I finally got in Tinker with Rally. Does this still work? I had this work for me once, does it work? It does! See? I've talked about this how many times? But it does work. I've finally been able to demonstrate this after all these years. I had this happen to me once and then I had other effects where it didn't work out, but as you can see... Look at that. It does work. When when you play a card off of Rally, it gets counted as removed for the purposes of Tinker, giving you bonus gold. However, in some other circumstances, that is not the case. For example, Navigator quests do not work this way. I think this might be the only way, the only case, actually, where it works like this. Which is really odd. Like, I have no idea why. Why specifically Tinker and no one else is it that it works this way? I have no clue. I don't even, like there are often times I can like kind of give you a guess. I have no idea what causes this. But it works, as you can see here. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and bump up my population and then then we'll go ahead and we'll uh my minings are good now. We're there. More wait for you know, give me the upgrades. I really I think Be Faithful is one of the best endings. Live long and prosper and also deliver us from damnation are pretty good. In my opinion. I think that they're both strong. 
Uh, bonus wave period is really, like if you're going for nightmare mode, bonus wave period's huge. And if you're going for like if you're going for a win where it's uncertain at this point, bonus wave time can help make it certain, basically. You know, I've I've by the way, I've tried in the past to use the key bindings to play cards, and it's kind of giant janky for me. Let me try it here. I'm gonna try using the key bindings here. Like if I play my cards too fast with this, it kind of like has been locking up on me, is what I've noticed. I also, yeah, this is this is the thing, right? Right here. I gotta. Oh, it's not that it locks up. I just you can't have your mouse cursor too far down. That's what it is. This is too far down. Whereas, yeah, okay. Ooh, the, the threshold there is a little interesting. It looks like there's basically a line on the screen right around, probably right around here where I'm moving my mouse. That is the uh, the stopping point where you're not allowed to move your like if you like the not 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 allowed, but that's where it halts your cursor. What am I what am I saying? I'm gonna re remove rally here. I know, I know. Don't worry. But no, it, it's where it uh like you have to drag past. To disc to play cards, except sometimes you don't. It's weird. It's very strange. It's not that strange. Let's be honest. At the end of the day, this is just a reason for me to not use key mindings, which really I just I hate key mindings. I don't know what it is, but I cannot. I don't like it. I don't like having to play with the key mindings. People tell me all the time, I can't believe you play this game and you click to redraw. But like, I can't believe you play this game and you have your hand on your keyboard. There's a there's a there's an implication there that I don't like. I trust you to not uh, make the the strange joke in your head. No, all I do is I just I rest my hand. I, I sit up and I lean my arm on my chair and then I just kind of shift my weight onto that. That's what I do. Also, this is a good time for me to move my army, considering we're only six walls away. My favorite amusement park, six walls. They may actually get here in time if the if the fight somehow goes wrong, which, like, how could it? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What is this? All right, um, this isn't the turtle. This is something different. Hello, uh, you're an owl who just wiped out all of my guards and now I've lost. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? So as it turns out if you fight, oh wow. I haven't seen this guy. Okay, cool. Combo attack three, air invade, knockback. Air invade meaning that they just land behind the first wall and Combo attack three, meaning it hits three times. Yeah, like, actually this enemy is a huge baby. Oh, the knockback. What a strange combat. Trying to knock back the house. Now, all I've learned from this is you just have to have a buffer wall for when you fight this boss. Okay, cool. I like that boss. I like it. There's no AoE, right? I'm glad, I'm glad for an enemy without AoE. That being said, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave me a like. Helps me out a great deal. Subscribe for more. Uh, two Retropolis episodes every day. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a great one. I'll see you then. Farewell.